Damn, she looked good without that hat. Crimson, I suggest you leave this place while you still can. I bear you no grudge. You should think, or should you think so much as think of interfering, I will not hesitate to turn you into a zombie too. So it was you, after all. Consider me disappointed. Your sister Ceci is already in custody. Surrender now and I will see that no harm befalls her. How little you understand us, Inspector. Then again, how can one born into a life of power and privilege ever hope to understand? Sissy and I have no family, no friends, no fortune, nothing. Two sisters against the world, and only our quest for justice to give us meaning. Long ago we made a vow. Should the worst happen, our mission takes priority over all. Yes, even over our own wretched lives. Do you see now? Anything I might have once had to lose, I lost long ago. Now stand down or suffer the same fate as all the old on dogs you would defend. Ellie, stop this madness! I'm sorry, Inspector. Nice, Nashu. There's too many of them. Oh! <laughs> All in a day's work for a Manderville man. Ooh, yeah! Jesus Christ! Gobbert LV4, LB4, whatever, man. Damn, Gilgi. Nice. This is awesome. You only delay the inevitable. I have an entire legion of the undead at my beck and call. Face it, it's only with Inspector Hildebrand's ridiculously good fortune that you even made it this far. And he's as good as six phones under. Be forewarned, girl. No, know that I speak from experience when I say underestimate Hildy. And you do so at your own peril. I'm afraid you underestimate me as well. No mere splash of holy water can stave off the effects of the traitor spurn. I fear the good inspector's luck has finally run out. Balls, balls, is there no end to them? I'm not liking our chances. Greg, was it? He just accepts it. It's a shame to lose you, Crimson. Warrior of light that you are, you might yet have served one last purpose for us. Go forth, my zombie minions!
Oh my god. Well, when darkness falls and hope fades to despair, four warriors born of light shall descend in the righteous glare. Bugger me with a dead sword and my eyes to be believed. <laughs> oh my god. I pose. No, these are not the four warriors of light that I see, dude. They are the gentle deeds of light! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> oh. Just so, my good man, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has made his triumphant return. Did you miss me? <laughs> nice. Ah! Ah, we beat again, girl! Tell me that you got my snarbled tonic or I'll fashion myself a wig with your lovely locks after I've ripped them clean from your bloody head! <laughs> Gentle dudes. <laughs> oh, hello there, Mr. Elazar. Cool, you're looking absolutely resplendent today. <laughs> Just implicated a scalper, yay, dude. Impossible! The Holy Water couldn't have cured him! It didn't. Fortunately, our overlord spent quite some time building up an immunity to zombie powder. When we heard that Master Zombie Brand was at risk of joining the actual dead, we knew we had to take action. That's right. An immunity to... <sighs> I'm just going to pretend that makes any kind of sense. Oh my god, this is the greatest. The game is up, Miss Ellie. Pray abandon this madness. Besides, plots of mass murder hardly suit a lady like yourself. It's over. It's all over. Inspector Bryden, you said there was something you would tell me when this was all through. I imagine you have no words for me now. Ellie, your powers of deduction are wanting. You said that you had lost everything and everyone you had to lose, did you not? As for me, I found something. Someone with whom I intend never to part. Aww. I care not if it takes years, even decades. When you emerge from your goal, your jail cell, a free woman, I will be here. What say you? Aww. Kaibadin. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Play Despacito. <laughs> Aww. Kaiba found his blue eyes. Miss <laughs> uh. Illy, while the crimes perpetrated by you and your sister are unpardonable, you are far from the only ones guilty. On behalf of the syndicate, I offer my apologies for the false aspirations cast upon your ancestors. You said that the nation of Uldah was built on lies. Seeing what I have seen today, I cannot deny your words. It will not be an easy task to rewrite, nay, restore history. But know this, I will do everything in my power to bring the truth to the fore. Dig it?
him. Are we not forgetting someone here? And by someone, I mean me. If you're quite done playing cloak and dagger, I require Crimson's presence for a matter of great, far greater importance. I, the time of our too long delayed confrontation is nigh. <laughs> I'm like, bruh. Why the long face, friend? Ah, but mayhap this will give you a singing, give you, have you singing a happier tune? Could it be? The Treaty Blade! And the true one at that! None other! And I have not the slightest intention of parting with it, save to the one who would defeat me in single combat. But I misspeak. It will not be single combat this time! Is that my cue? Old friend. Oh no. Chicken primal. <laughs> They'll be merciful. What is that abomination? Some new breed of void scent? Abomination! I'll thank you, thank you to address my companion with courtesy, girl! Ah, but was the most curious thing. There I was, hauling a crate full of crystals for Hilda's mother, and thinking how much better things would be if my dear friend Enkidu were here. <laughs> it's created a primal Enkidu. Oh <laughs> then came a flash from the heavens, and the next thing I knew, there she was. I've got to change up her voice then. By the gods, it makes perfect sense. Doubtless the crystals heard Greg's heartfelt plea. Something for this friend. Nay, no mere friend, but rather the primal Enkidu. And the world has now completely and utterly ceased to be bound by the laws of logic. Crimson, you may have bested me in the past, but facing the two of us together will prove no easy task. And yet I trust you will not shirk from the challenge. I, Enkidu, and I shall wait at Ampador Keep. <laughs> this is great. Tis a ways from here, but what better venue for our climatic confrontation? If you acclaim the tree blade, then claim it from me as a warrior. To the skies, Enkidu! To the skies! Apparently you can just make your own primals at this rate. Two against one? That's not very gentlemanly of you, Greg! Come, Grimson, to Amdapur! Amdapur! Amdapur, Amdapur, Amdapur. This is a great development indeed. And to think that one man could summon a primal on his own. I must send word to the science at once. Hi, I'm right here. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm right here. Uh, I'm right here. Seriously, I'm right here. Uh, but, but of course, I had nearly forgotten we had a warrior of light in our very midst. Please, you are our only hope to slay the primal and reclaim the blade. Yeah, because I really don't want to go back to the Waking Sands. I, I really don't. Pray, I will not return to the Waking Sands. 